Working with groups is an important part of community work. Communities are made up of groups of people. To ascertain their needs, problems, and get a sense of their strengths, one thing we might do is hold focus groups, or lead community meetings, or engage like-minded professionals in a planning process. Human service workers may serve as members, leaders, or facilitators of one or more of these groups. We're going to look at some categories and there are examples of all of them in your folder. First, there are committees. Committees are a group of people chosen or appointed to perform a specified service or function, according to Webster. Committees can be set up for short periods of time to address an immediate issue or can be standing committees that are ongoing. There are boards of directors that govern not-for-profit organizations. Be sure to review and think about their responsibilities. There are coalitions. Coalitions form around specific areas of interest. Unlike task forces, which we'll talk about next, they tend to work together over time. Task forces and work groups, again, are groups of people put together, usually time limited to work on specific issues. A team is a number of people working together with unique but often complementary roles. There are two dimensions to consider when you're working with a group. The first is the task, what's the purpose of the group and what needs to get done. And the second is process, what is happening between and among the group members. The typical stages that you will read about and hear about are forming, storming, norming, and adjournment. As human service workers, you will spend a great deal of time in meetings, another form of a group. Committee meetings, staff meetings, task force meetings, the board meetings. Remember that in order to run an effective meeting, you need to know the task in general and the task for that particular meeting. You need to understand the stage the group is in and what the dynamics are and effective ways to manage the group. You need, to, you need to be able to provide information to the group that they need to do their work. You always need to be able to prepare a good agenda and manage time. Carefully think about the responsibilities of a group and of a meeting and be sure to um, read the uh, sections in the text dealing with group problems. Thank you.